Hello and welcome to today's video on cyber attackers and their motivations. Cyber attacks have become increasingly common in recent years, with various types of attackers targeting individuals, organizations, and even governments for various reasons. In this video, we'll be discussing the various types of cyber attackers, their motivations, and some examples of their actions. First, let's define some terms. Cyber criminals are individuals or groups who engage in illegal activities online, often for financial gain. This can include things like credit card fraud, identity theft, and ransomware attacks. Cyber terrorists are individuals or groups who use cyber attacks to achieve political or ideological goals, often causing fear and disruption in the process. State actors are governments or government-affiliated organizations that engage in cyber attacks, often for espionage or military advantage. Hackers are individuals or groups who use their technical skills to gain unauthorized access to computer systems or networks. They may do this for a variety of reasons, including financial gain, personal curiosity, or to test their own skills. Hackers can be further divided into categories based on their level of skill and experience. Script kiddies, for example, are less skilled hackers who use pre-written scripts or tools to carry out attacks, often with little understanding of how they work. Phishers are individuals or groups who use fake emails or websites to trick people into revealing sensitive information, such as passwords or credit card numbers. Scammers are individuals or groups who use deceptive tactics to trick people into giving them money or personal information. Malware writers are individuals or groups who create malicious software, such as viruses or trojans, with the goal of stealing data or causing damage to computer systems. So what motivates these various types of cyber attackers? Financial gain is a common motivation, as many cyber attacks result in the theft of money or valuable data. Publicity is another motivation, as some attackers seek attention or notoriety for their actions. Fraud is also a common motivation, as attackers may use fake websites or emails to deceive people into giving them money or personal information. Finally, espionage is a motivation for state actors and other organizations who seek to gather sensitive information for military or strategic purposes. Now let's look at some examples of cyber attacks carried out by these different types of attackers. One well-known example of a cyber criminal is the group known as the Dark Overlord, which has carried out numerous ransomware attacks against businesses and individuals, demanding payment in exchange for the decryption of their stolen data. Cyber terrorists have also made headlines in recent years, with groups like the Islamic State using social media and other online platforms to spread propaganda and carry out cyber attacks. State actors have been accused of carrying out a variety of cyber attacks, including the 2014 attack on Sony Pictures by North Korea and the 2017 NotPetya attack attributed to Russia, which caused widespread damage to Ukrainian infrastructure. Hackers have also made headlines for a variety of attacks including the 2014 attack on the iCloud accounts of several celebrities, which resulted in the theft and leakage of personal photos and data. Script kiddies have been responsible for a number of attacks, including the 2016 attack on the Krebs on security website, which was carried out using a tool called the Mirai botnet. Fishers have been successful in tricking individuals and organizations into revealing sensitive information through fake emails and websites. One well-known example is the Nigerian Prince scam, in which individuals are tricked into sending money to help a supposed Nigerian prince transfer funds out of the country. Scammers have also been successful in tricking individuals into giving them money or personal information through various deceptive tactics. One example is the tech support scam, which has cost individuals in the UK hundreds of millions of pounds. As we've seen, cyber attackers come in many forms and have a variety of motivations, from financial gain to espionage to notoriety. While it can be difficult to completely protect against all types of attacks, there are steps that individuals and organizations can take to reduce the risk of falling victim to a cyber attack. For individuals, this includes using strong, unique passwords for all online accounts and being cautious when clicking on links or entering personal information online. It's also important to keep software and security systems up to date, as attackers often exploit vulnerabilities in out-of-date systems. For organizations, effective cybersecurity measures include the use of firewalls and intrusion detection systems, as well as training employees on best practices for online security. 
Regular security assessments and penetration testing can also help identify and address vulnerabilities in an organization's systems. By being aware of the various types of cyber attackers and their motivations, and taking steps to protect against attacks, individuals and organizations can reduce their risk of falling victim to a cyber attack. Thank you for watching today's video on cyber attackers and their motivations. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below.